the thing I reckon makes is just that the subtlety. So have, to have size and power, okay, that's that's good, but it's the foot speed mm. and the late footwork. Yep. That's that's the thing that really enables him to take advantage of that size and power. If I was Morgan Arbo, I would have just got out of the road. Terrifying, yeah. you yeah. know. Um, what about this week? Broncos versus Sharks, Stags versus Talakai. That's yeah. a hell of a matchup. That's worth paying the admission mm. to go watch the game itself. But like for Talakai to, he looks like um, he's really strong up top. So if you go in high, mm. he's got the ability to fend and throw you off. But then, as you said, if you go low, he's got that little hip shift mm. and can keep momentum going. So there's no doubt that um, there's going to be a lot of teams trying to work out the best way to stop him. And through history, if there's a big guy you know, that um, can break lines, you know, it's definitely got to go legs as your first target. Mm. You've just got to get one or two together and help the, get, hope the ca cavalry comes soon. Comparing people to uh, Talakai, probably the only one I, I was thinking about, you know, Mal Meninga. <coughs> Mal is prime. I remember Mal playing a game in 1990 against the Roosters and Mal scored five tries. He was just <laughs> unstoppable. And, and, and when you think of Mal Meninga, you think, you think size and power. But like Talakai, where, where the subtle part of Talakai's game, the footwork and the foot speed, you know, enables him you know, to take advantage of that size and power with Mal. Mal had beautiful hands yep. coops yeah, and yeah. he doesn't get credit for that you oftentimes see those backline moves you know it goes Stuart Daly long ball to Meninga and Mal just going up and then just feeding Beltra off his outside hip you know having that you know it's, it's great to have size and power but you need to have that little bit of subtlety in your game yeah I never played against Mal so I'll ask you for some defensive tips on Mal how'd you go against him <laughs> what I did the day before I went to the church and prayed <laughs> how'd that work for you not yeah, very well not good the walls not would good. have caved in if the you Lord was busy that day <laughs> he wasn't listening to me um